All right, hey, this is going to be a bit of a uh, instructional video on how to get the bound bow set up on a early character on higher difficulties in Skyrim. Um, all the video footage here is going to be done on Legendary, and the first important thing to note is that when you are in the Keep and Helgen, you do need to receive the hood off of the mage imprisoned in here. Uh, it's a boost of 30 mana, and you need it to be able to activate the bound bow early on without having to level up and invest a large amount of the magicka. Uh, so, this just takes a while. You have to let the soldiers do most of the work when you're in here on Legendary. You hardly make a dent on these enemies. Was Jarl up Rick with you? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. And this is the cage that you will need to unlock to get to the mage. Wait a second. And if you are curious about the Looks UI that I am so using, I am using the Sky UI add-on. Uh, I'm playing on PC as well, so. Uh, now here, whenever you get to the first city right after you're done in the keep, uh, you can talk to Sven to receive a quest to give a letter to the lady in the Riverwood Trader. Uh, when you get in there, you can choose to either give her the letter and lie to her and be able to make Sven happy and have him follow you, or alternatively, you can tell her the truth that Sven is trying to lie to her and then receive a different follower. Uh, the reason for this is on Legendary difficulty or Master difficulty, you hardly do any damage, but the damage of your followers is not reduced, and there are also certain situations that you can use them as sort of a meat shield to distract enemies while you're running to get to something. Uh, so I just figured I would show this here and that it's not particularly difficult to get an early follower. Uh, they're expendable, they only level up to 20, so they're not super useful. Uh, in this clip I took the Archer, Feindal, or not Fiendal, I apologize. Uh, but I would actually recommend taking Sven over him. Sven is a melee character as opposed to this one, which is an archer. Uh, the one benefit to this guy is if you do leave him alive, he can train you in archery. And while he's following you, if you ask to trade with him, you can actually take the gold you spent on training your archery back off of him and train more. Uh, so this is a really easy way to get some archery level ups if you choose to do so. Climb and back and we'll be off. Now here is where the route is going to be taking you. Once you've gotten to the Whiterun stables, just take the carriage off to Windhelm and follow the video from that point to get to where we're going, which is the Atronach Stone, first of all. The Atronach Stone gives you a 50% chance to absorb Magicka from attacks that or from magic spells that hit you. In addition, it increases your maximum Magicka by 50. And it also reduces your Magicka regeneration rate by 50%. Uh, now this is a multi-purpose thing. Uh, firstly, you need the 50 Magicka to be able to access the Bound Bow early on. Uh, it'll require about 175 mana to cast as a Breton, uh, and I would highly recommend using a Breton for this uh, sort of a build. The other thing about it is with the 50% magic absorption rate, uh, as a Breton you can activate Dragon Skin to get complete immune to Magicka or complete immunity to Magicka for a 60 second duration, and this is going to be extremely useful when we're going to get the Bound Bow out of the keep. Uh, the other thing to note here is this journey is significantly easier if you either have a horse or are willing to steal one. Um, if you're willing to take the bounty or if you can do it without getting caught, I would highly recommend it. And at this point, you just need to follow the route down the road uh, that I take. If you follow directly on the road, more than likely you'll run into either bears, wolves, saber cats, or thieves, uh, none of which at this point in the game you are really equipped to deal with. Uh, and this is where the Atronach stone is, and that's where we will be going.
<laughs> I named my dog Five Miles so I can tell people I walk five miles every day. Dude, I've seen that thing like six times the past week. He's starting to get old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was clever the first time, I'm like, ah, that's pretty that's funny, and then mm -hmm. it's like, everybody's just reposting it, reposting, it's like, okay, come on guys, come on now, go be please. progress <coughs> I took a break oh okay I'm eating food I wish I could just have like a midnight meal sweet midnight snacks you know just go out of my room at like well midnight cook me up myself up pizza and then just eat it Alright, and at this point, you are approaching the Atronach stone. Uh, I would also highly recommend you approach it from behind. On the other side of the t stone, there tend to be wolves or bandits or different patrolling things that could kill you. Uh, I would also advise sneaking up to this point and just activating it from behind to make sure that nothing gains line of sight on you. Uh, from this point, though, it is best to just save, and we're going to start making a run for the hold, which we will find the Bound Bow spellbook in. Uh, this part is a little bit more dangerous. Uh, as long as you can survive until you make it to the river, generally you'll be fine. Uh, the difficulty just lies in getting there without getting killed. As you can see in this case, I wound up fighting three wolves. Uh, it is entirely manageable, it's just difficult and you will need to expend some health potions on it. And in addition, I think I also ran out of iron arrows during this fight, so be prepared to use uh, magic or to use swords as well. And do come equipped, because if you run into anything eventful, you will die otherwise. As you can see here, my follower tends to show up a little bit late. Uh, the one big problem with following the route that I took primarily going through the mountains is that your followers, or anyone else coming with you, tends to have difficulties going through mountainous regions or uneven terrain. Um, it is more than likely that they will get stuck on something and will not be able to help you unless you're extremely patient and wait for them to catch up to you very often. Uh, in addition, the river that we're going to need to be crossing up ahead, they also tend to have difficulties going across water, um, so that is the point that I actually would recommend you wait on them and try to find a way to get them across. Uh, having your follower with you going into the hold is actually very important to prevent you from being killed.
All right, and now that we have arrived at the hold, Fort Amel, uh, I would highly recommend not entering from the side that we approached on. There is a crack in the wall and you're able to enter through it, but there are several mages that are immediately pointed at you and will immediately start to do damage to you if you enter from that end, uh, as well as the entrance to the prison that we are trying to get to being on the other end. Uh, here I'm just making note that you will need to be using dragon skin at this point, and it is also very much advisable to get the Atronach Stone before you enter the hold, as opposed to getting it after. Uh, here I just make sure that I sneak all the way around. The mages can patrol on the top of the towers and can kill you from there. And here is the front entrance. Now the thing to note here is there is a mage immediately on top of the front entrance. There is nothing you can do to stop it from catching notice of you. Uh, activate Dragon Skin and just run. With the 50% magic absorption chance from the Atronox Stone and the 50% magic absorption chance from your Dragon Skin, you are completely immune to magic. So the mages here actually pose no threat to you so long as you are in that 60 second window uh, of Dragon Skin. And the tome that you are looking for is in that bucket on the floor underneath a lantern. You can either pick up the bucket and dump it out like I did, or you can pick up the lantern and just pick it up out of the bucket. Uh, and here you'll see by the buff icon in the top right of my screen that you have plenty of time left on Dragon Skin to be able to run. Uh, just note that if a mage does still follow you out of the keep, they will continue to follow you for a very long distance. So you do need to be careful with how much duration you wind up having when you're leaving the keep. Up ahead you'll see that uh, this mage continued to follow me for a very long time, and I was actually very afraid of dying and needing to redo this. Um, water is your friend when trying to escape mobs. They have difficulties with their path in going through it, and there are very specific routes that they're forced to take. Uh, in addition, you don't want to have to run this far. As you'll see coming up, I actually ran into a pack of wolves and almost died again. Uh, the only saving grace here was that I was able to run through a pack of giants, which took the wolves off of me. And the way that you will know that you're able to fast travel back to the Whiterun stables to get out of here is when you are able to crouch and stealth. When you are completely undetected, you are able to fast travel. And I would advise that as soon as you are able, fast travel out so that you don't risk running into anything else that could kill you. Now at this point I am just going to be making sure that I show you that you can indeed equip or use the Bound Bow spell with just the Novice Hood and the uh, Atronox Stone perk. The one point in Conjuration does not matter. The Bound Bow spell is of a higher tier. Normally you wouldn't be able to access it from a shop until level 50. And here I'm going to give you a damage I'm comparison. Uh, as you can see, the Iron Arrow barely dented him at all. Uh, but here with the Bound Bow, you're going to see that it's a quite sizable, or a much larger chunk of damage. Now the one other perk in Conjuration that I would recommend taking is Mystic Binding. It upgrades the quality of the bow a f very good amount. Uh, you will notice a large damage increase. Uh, here I didn't display it properly because I did not resummon the bow, but it does increase the damage further. Uh, thank you for watching and have fun with your bound bows. Hey, be careful.